Okay, here we're going to see the Hadahama Shrine in the Dueling Peak Stable. Now the shrine has thorns around it, so it's going to create a crane on this block and just glide over it. Once you beat the shrine, the thorns will be gone. Trend's fairly fun. You're going to want to use your crane on this, on this one. Okay, now you can get a treasure chest up here, so put one right here. I have to try it, but it'd be kind of cool to try going all the way to the top. Okay, now over here you have to use Cryonis blocks to guide that orb into its little pedestal, whatever you want to call it there. I guess, we'll just call it a hole. Okay, so that's the first one you want to do. Second one. Third one. Let's say you beat that one, now we're going to see what's stable. So if you're just starting out in the game, the Dueling Peak Stable is most likely going to be the first one that you run into if you follow the King's instructions on going to Kakariko Village. If you'd like to learn more about stables, I've got a video specifically on stables. So, you'll notice it's not on the map right here, but when you See none of the stables show up on the map until you actually go there. You get close enough. The name shows up and there's the stable. So we're going to talk to Beetle here. Hey idiot, stop. Okay, so I'm just starting this playthrough so that's why he says I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. Otherwise. He says something different at each stable. Oh. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and sell him some stuff. I just sell them stuff that I know I'm not going to need or use. Wow! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm actually going to do another video on stables. I'm going to delete my old one and put up a new one. Yeah. I actually plan on doing that right after this video, so by the time anyone watches this video, my old stable video will probably be down and my new one will be up. Wow. Wow. The reason I'm doing that yeah, yeah. is because <laughs> uh, Well, I'll wait till I'm done with the deal here to explain it. Okay, so at this stable you can buy you buy arrows at everyone. Wow! Yes. And this is able to be selling restless cricket, hot footed frog, and octo balloon. Yeah, yeah. We don't need any of those. Wow! <laughs> okay, because see, the last time I did a video on stables, this is all the further I was in the game. So. I've got another file opened up right now where I've unlocked the entire map and I've been to every stable. So I want to show where all the stables are on the map and where the shrines are next to them so I can kind of explain them better. But here at the stable, they've got Hino here. And this is the only stable you'll find him at as far as I know. And you talk to him if you want to know more about the Blood Moon. But the only time I ever talk to him about the moon is in my video Searching for Shooting Stars. So you can check that out if you want to find shooting stars. But you got a fire here if you want to cook stuff. Some wood, so. If you see my other videos on stables, and you already know that each stable is slightly different. I mean, for the most part, they're the same, but sometimes it's got different people. Fires might be in a different spot. You might find different items. Like, for example, this one you'll find an axe back here. Other stables you might find like a torch or a sledgehammer or something. So anyways, that was the Hod Dahamar Shrine. And look at stable, uh, the Dueling Peak Stable.